What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Cinda, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Cinda 7 color backlit wireless keyboard that works with uh, Windows, Android, and you'll see here iOS devices. We're going to have an iPad and an iPhone both paired to this guy. Um, Something that I really like about this keyboard is it's got a built-in stand. So as you can see, the iPad is resting in this built-in crevice here in the keyboard. So it's an all-in-one, right? Sadly, this is a 2020 uh, iPad Air. And, uh, you know, I think it's about eh, pretty close to 11 inches, 10.9. Uh, I could not get that in a iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max in the same slot. Now, I think if you have a smaller phone, you won't have any issues. You could actually probably have both in this crevice here. You can just move this to the far left and then fit the phone in. This almost fit. It's a little too wide for both of these things. So, you know, I'm going I'm to go out on the limb say if you got like a, the, the Pro Max and a, like a 11 inch iPad or greater, uh, you're not going to get both in the little crevice. Uh, it just isn't going to fit, which is a little disappointing because I would love to have the iPhone sitting in here and the iPad both at the same time. That would be awesome. But not going to be able to do that. So what is the Cinda 7 color backlit wireless keyboard model ISJDJC03? Again, I'll have a link in the show notes. Um, it is just a keyboard that has the uh, sensor switch, ultra thin keyboard, multimedia keys, and it's got 7 colors of backlit keys and 3 levels of brightness. If you want the specs, it is Bluetooth version 5.1, working range is 10 meters, battery capacity is a 1600 milliamp hour battery, uh, working current without backlights 1.5 milliamps, working hours without backlight 1000 hours, uh, working concurrent uh, with the brightest backlight 200 milliamps, which takes it down to about 8 hours with the brightest backlight running. It takes about 3 hours to charge, standby time is 2100 hours, sitting. Uh, backlight sleep load after two minutes of not use and the keyboard will actually go to sleep after 30 minutes of non-use. You get the backlight wireless keyboard, a Type-C charging cable, and this user manual which tells you basically how to do everything. And again, we've got, uh, you know, we can pair it to three different devices with Bluetooth 5.1. Why do I keep saying doink? Uh, iPad, iPhone pairing, uh, Huawei, Samsung, uh, tablet with Windows and Mac. Look at that. Holy crap. You can use it for everything. And it does switch pretty darn quick and easy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the iPhone back unlocked. And... I don't know. Who are we paired with right now? Let's type. So we're over here with the iPhone. So you can see. I'm typing. There's stuff going on the iPhone. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Holy crap. I think I just... This is in sharing. That's what's going on. I was like, how did I get it over here? So now we're going to actually function and we're going to go to the iPad. And you can see here, we typed over there. Now this is the iCloud notes. So as you can see here, it's it's syncing across the iCloud. So that's why I'm not actually typing on one and the other and then there's lag or anything like that. Um, we are actually typing on the iPad. iCloud is syncing it over here to the iPhone. That's the magic of Apple. Isn't that really kick? But, but this thing does switch back and forth pretty easy. So I'm going to just backspace it here. And again, I'm on the primary, which is the iPad, Bluetooth 1. Let's iCloud sync. There it is. Let's do function 2. This is now direct to the iPhone. Just like that. We're now typing on the iPhone and we're over here. Uh, iCloud syncing on this. Now I mentioned this has backlit keys so let's go ahead and show you the backlit key function. So what I'm going to do is actually kill the studio lights here. Boom, boom. Alright and now we hit simply function shift and now you can see some lighting, right? Let's do shift Shift. This is the third brightest level. So we can actually have like now we've got blue. Now if I hit function enter, I've got purple. I've got kind of a uh, white, red, green, blue, 
Um, maybe a yellowy green, lightish aqua blue, and we're back to purple, and we're cycling through the colors of the keyboard. Is that not awesome? I think that's awesome. It does have an on and off switch uh, to turn this thing on and off. Um, it's not like one of those ones you can't turn off, you just gotta wait for it to waste battery and time out. Um, so, it does have some nice features. Again, it's got multimedia keys, which are like shortcut hotkeys. It has a Windows key uh, function. So, like I said, it works on every OS platform out there. You saw that in the manual. It works with Android, Samsung, Windows, Mac, iPad, iOS, you name it, it works. We're good. So, you got a keyboard that is going to go cross-platform with no problems whatsoever. I do want to pick it up here. So let me take the iPad out. I will show you. Let's unplug it. Here's what it looks like. You can see I still got the backlit keys on. Here's the groove. I really wished again that my um, iPhone and iPad both been in here, but they just don't. Uh, and again, here's the backlit keys. Very, very nice. It is pretty thin. On the back side, we do have four little rubber feet. It's got a little hump in here, but that's where the groove is at. Um, it is not super lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel cheap by any means. Uh, it does it does have a little bit of weight to it. So we're going to just shut it off and we're good. And really guys, that is the Cinda wireless seven color backlit uh, Bluetooth keyboard. And again, it's got that built in crevice for your tablets and that way you don't have to carry a stand with you. You can just plop this down. Now unfortunately you can't really get any different viewing angles. Um, you're kind of just stuck with what you get here. You can't be real picky and choosy uh, on what you get for angles here with uh, the stand. But um, could you go also vertically uh, with an iPad? Uh, that might be a question you might ask here. So let's go ahead and just tip it up. And yes, you can. It can go vertical. Let me just get this over here on the pad. It's not level. Give it a fair shake. So there you go. You can have it vertical as well. If you did do it vertically, you could get the iPhone in here. Maybe. Let's see. See, it's it's one of those trial and errors. Let's take the case off. See, this is why this is a good good demonstration. There you go. So I actually have both in here in the vertical mode not the best for iPads for vertical mode um, probably more tailored for horizontal but that's not terrible well, now let's turn this on and let's see who's a, who, I'm paired to the paired to this guy boom so let's pair it let's go function one enter enter Enter. Come on, iPad. There we go. Enter. Let's enter his code. Boom. Look at that. Again, got hotkeys, volume. You see the volume going up and down here. Brightness. All those hotkeys. Just awesome. Love this thing. And. I'm going to throw it in my bag and actually try to use it for a little while and see where we go from there. I mean, that's the only way to really figure it out and say, is this something that's going to be in my tech bag and I'll be rocking and using um, and go from there. And I do like that it has the stand built in. That's a nice feature. Anyway, guys, check the show notes. I'll have a link for the Scene to 7 Color Backlit Wireless Keyboard Model ISJJJDJC03. Uh, as a disclaimer, uh, Scene did provide this to the show for review. They have not reviewed this video or anything, so this is unbiased. This is my opinions. Um, and after testing and using, uh, so it's good. This is something that I could recommend to you uh, with no problems whatsoever. And it works and works well and it's not going to break the bank and again it's cross-platform and multifunctional with the built-in stand that's pretty awesome if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the show and as always guys thanks for watching and have a good one